Ouch. How about another round for Bruise Day Tuesday? Here is Drez and Huck. Another round <laughs> to get us more crunk. Here uh, we go. Our April Fool's Day theme, Bruise Day Tuesday, is upon us, and the joke is on me, Huck. <laughs> it's on you, too, though. Let's be honest. I'm sure you're not as thrilled with these as, as I am. Um, so we continue our non-alcoholic beer tasting. We do. Uh, you handed me the Kloss Taller. Yes. Is that how you pronounce this? Yeah, and I have a, I have a Kloss Taller as well. What's yours? Mine's what dry sure? hopped. Mine yeah. is in premium. Uh, just I don't Probably know. a lager-ish. Imported from Germany. World Beer Awards from, it looks like 13. So that was a while ago. They're still running that one. But I guess we can't hate on them. But Pabst Blue Urban's have been so proud of their, what, 1898 yeah. uh, world. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, once again, col- contains less than 0.5%. So is that, like, is there... Okay, so here's here's again. Is, I did the research. You did, I saw you I'm, over there. I'm back working digitally to yeah, so tell me about non-alcoholic it, beer. It all goes back to, you know, <laughs> okay, somewhere I shouldn't go. It all goes back to when we gave the the women the vote, and what's the first thing they did? Prohibition. Okay, people forget that. I mean, I love the women, but really, that's the first thing they did. So in Prohibition, they decided... You know, that you, I never really put two and two together, but yeah. you're right. We gave them the right to vote in, what, 20 or yeah. something, yeah. and then next thing you know... Prohibition. Oh, pro, yeah. yeah. Booze is well, they got tired of us coming in drunk. <laughs> you know, they liked it. Never mind. All right. Um, okay, so, so in Prohibition, they were allowed to make beer if it was less under... Less than 5%. 0.05% okay. or less. 0.5, yeah. Yeah, so... Makes sense. So people became accustomed to that. So they, li- they listed that people became accustomed to it because they didn't want to. Pregnant women, people on, um, what do you call them? Uh, uh, anti- antibiotics. Antibiotics can drink this. So there's reasons you might choose to drink this. <laughs> I chose to drink it to fool you. It didn't really work, so I wish now, I'm, could, I now w- I'm the fool. We should have done this a couple of weeks ago when I was kind of feeling sick. Maybe I wouldn't have oh, yeah. extended my sickness. Yeah, you can kill off all those antibiotic cells. Yeah. Hmm. So anyway, so that's that story. The story of the why. That's the why. The how was the other question. So the how is the only way to get rid of the alcohol is to boil it. Oh. Now, alcohol boils at 173.5 degrees, whereas water boils at 212. So they heat the liquid. After they make the beer, they heat it up to 73.5 degrees, 173.5 degrees and boil the alcohol until it gets down to 0.05. The problem with that is that now you've cooked the beer again. And you make beer by cooking it. And you make it taste like crap. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so you went from a pretty good beer. So there is another way to do it is you can vacuum. If you take it under a vacuum, you can get it as low as 50. But because nobody's drinking this, there's not enough volume to make that feasible. Now, if somebody wanted to go out there and build that brewery and make this beer and, and vacuum boil it at 50 degrees where it wouldn't hurt the beer, that'd be good. The second thing is it also loses all its carbonation Yeah. when you do that so then they have to recarbonate it recarbonate it using you know a pressure whole nother, yeah so you're not getting natural carbonation which many of your best beers have natural carbonation some are bottle conditioned so you know again another bad thing so that's two bad things there is a third strike as well <laughs> okay this beer besides that I have, not having the alcohol yeah well no the the having you take the alcohol out and ruins the flavor and then you ruin the carbonation you also ruin the hops because the hops the best part for me, especially, are late hop beers, and that means if you boil it for another hour, then they're now no longer late hop; they're early hop. Now, this beer I'm drinking now is dry hopped. Okay, good solution. Good solution. Let's and it's actually the better better That's of the best beers. one yeah. you've had so far. Mine over here, I'm not gonna lie, is still not wowing me. This is this is um, really just got the flat problem, and the maltiness is a little slacking because I guess the extra boil. But the, the I get some hops in this one. Well, that's good at least. So Maybe that's I'll try that. Off that's the story the in a song. nutshell on acclaimed worldwide brewed in Germany with Cascade hops here. All right. Well, while you're uh, while you're in love with that beer, let's hear your rating, man. Untap it. Let's hear it. I'm gonna give this bad boy. I'm gonna go. I'm going up one and a half. Oh, damn! That one, that one's taste amazing. That's three times as good as the last round. I might actually finish had. this one. Wow. Um, well, I'm not gonna lie. This I'm I have pretty much the same beef with this one as I did the last one. 
Although I will say it probably tastes a little bit better. No, it's still pretty bad. This is still a point five. This I'd, is not getting higher than the alcohol. I'd say this one's this it. one's drinkable. Really, it does have sixteen carbs. That might be why. Oh, does it give us see and and, and why, why why do you suppose that is? Because it, like, it's got a lot of malt in it. It's got a lot no, of no. But I mean, all of these non-alcoholics beers have had labels that have calories, fat, carbs, protein. Normal beers don't have that. Some do. Not very many. No, not very on many. the label. These are, you know, the people. That, well, the people that drink these are sober, so they might care. <laughs> this one's got a lot more carbs than the last one, but still only ninety-two how many, calories. How many but, carbs? And still only this has got eighteen point eight carbs. That's a lot of carbs for a for a That's beer that you're day, not getting yeah, any. This is my day limit right here. This one beer wow. when I'm on strict diet. Well, there you go. Another round of awesome beer <laughs> here on Brew Day Tuesday, and I guess we're gonna do. One more round. One more round. Oh, boy. Cannot yeah. wait. Yes. This has been my favorite oh, show best we've ever done. <laughs> Thursday, Tuesday, unfortunately, continues after this. Stick around. <laughs>